Hello, we have a 2012 Volkswagen Jetta S. It's got the key won't turn. The customer sometimes could get it to turn and then sometimes it would get stuck and sometimes they get it to turn. So we got it inside, but I'm gonna show you how I got that done. And the car here. You can lift this up. I took a pick tool and stuck it around this little corner right here and just pulled up. It shouldn't be very difficult to get up. Once you get it up, you can push down this is the shifter release. So you push that down, push the button, move it out of park. However, this is what we got. That's as far as the key will turn. So it was just enough to allow the steering wheel to turn. So we're gonna go ahead and take the rest of the way apart. Should just pop out. There. And depending on which kind you have, sometimes you can pull this whole thing off. This is not that one. This does not have the centerpiece that's different. So we'll do that. Then we'll pull this out and make sure it's down all the way so we have the ability to get things. Then your next step. Ah. Once you get that cover off, your next step is to get, turn on the light. Eh. Okay, apparently it won't let me. Anyway, your next step, get these two T30s out. There's one on this side and there's another one over here, so you have to be able to turn the steering wheel. If you can't turn the steering wheel, then you may have a bit of a problem. So, get to you when I get all that stuff undone. It's actually a T25, not a T30. So just be mindful of that. So there's one. You might not be able to get straight on it, and that's okay. Just try to make sure you don't strip it. That's the main key. So you got that one there. And then there's gonna be another one down here. So now that we got that, we can straighten this out. We can take the key out, because we're gonna have to get this cover down. And it is right there. So a final bolt at the bottom, same as the rest. And that should be it. There we go. This this should stay in here, so if that comes out, just it goes this way. There you go. It goes in there like that. And now we actually have access to the bottom side of this. Do we even have to take off the steering wheel? I don't think we even have to take off the steering wheel. Cool, now we got it. So we're gonna get to these. These are break off screws that the ignition switch is held up by. And so once we get those screws removed, we can drop this whole little assembly down and get it swapped out because it's either this the ignition switch the mechanism or the tumbler is bad and either way we got to get all this apart apart so we're gonna go ahead and do that all right i know this is not perfect but this is about as close as you're gonna get whilst i do this so i already got this one loose i just take a punch and i literally grab it I got this one loose already, but I did it by going like right there on the top of it and just trying to, like you're trying to get out a stuck bolt. So I did that one. Sometimes it can be a bit of a pain, but just be persistent and you'll get it. There we go. That time it's fun. All right. As you can see, we got them backed out with just chisel. 
cover with just the chiseling so we can just get a magnet pull them out but you see it's a little easier with a punch honestly I ended up using my uh, ended up using this punch it's just got a nice sharp tip on it and uh, use that to, to dig into the bolt and so when I use that to dig into this you can see the little notches right there you, you kind of drive down and then you drive at an angle and it'll get it to come loose all right so we got the bolts out the top now I'm gonna see how much it's gonna take to get this thing loose and I figured we could just watch together um, this thing I know unplugs from here I love pick tools so that plugs this way this thing's got a go out it's got a little tab in there that slides it forward so that one goes there this plugs in the back there this plugs up there that plugs in the back of there I'm trying to remember where Oh, there we go. So now we can come through here and unplug these two things. So we can unplug the collar sensor. Yeah, like that. So that's the one that goes here. Remember, it wraps around it kind of funny. And then the last one is honestly the hardest one. This one goes forward like that. I'll show you how this connector works in just a second. Haha! -ha. Now I got the whole ignition out. Let me show you. So this little connector has a little tab right here. You gotta push that to the side so you can slide it out. And you're gonna have to fight it around this this little there's a piece right here that's kind of in the way see where it connects right there so anyway now we have this apart and we can fuss with it so let's go over to the toolbox find out what we can get done all right now we got the assembly out so at the moment what is preventing us from turning something up in here Because you have to get this cylinder to turn in order to get this locating pin around so that way you can stick a pin in it and get the cylinder out. If I can't get that to happen, we're going to have to find a spot to drill it. Because usually you got one notch on this side and the other notch over here. Like that. See what I did there? I'll show you as it comes out. There's one tab right here that you have to push in, and then there's another one on this side, same thing. So this fits in as such. So I'll set that to the side. Let's see if this lets us move it around anymore. Oh, so some electricals you can get off. We can take this off. It just uh, clips in here, oops, clips in here and then snaps around that. And then this is just a little tab here that will release and then disconnect this. Because once you get this out, then you can slide this to the side after you get it around this little notch, like so. So there, you have stripped it of all the electronics of it maybe a slight victory lap what did it involve a lot of banging honestly I just sat here and played with it back and forth and shook it and shook it and on 
honestly, I just like beat it and tilt it all sorts of different ways because I figure whatever is broken internally in here is probably lodged, especially when it sits in its normal position. So I was trying every different angle to try and see if I could get whatever it was in there that's broke to loosen up, and it did. I got the ignition switch to turn, then you stick a pin. Remember how I said through that little gap there? Pin goes through, and you can see the pin right there. That's where the end of the pin is, because this is the latch catch. So when you install it in a new one, you'll pull, you'll, you won't have this in there. And this little catch mechanism is what holds it in there. So as you can see, that moves. So that's what that pin does. But you have to have the ignition switch turned. You have to have this in the on position in order to get to that pin. So let's go get us a new cylinder. New one, old one. New one comes with electricals on it, yay. So we have to make sure we get this ignition. So it is oriented, this is oriented that way. And we need this to fit properly. So we want it to go, where's the notch? Notch is kind of all around. So let's just give her a good old fashioned college try. This way it should be. Whoops, right there. Click. There we go. Off, on. Off, there you go. On, off, start, off. See how that's popping up like it should? Start, off, flip the key around, start, off. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. And that's how you, I keyed it up off this, because when I pulled it, when you have the ignition switch, remember, you gotta get that little notch, get that notch turned over here, and then what, honestly, what I do to make it easier to get to is I will orient it to where the key has the bend right here. So that way, when you turn it, you can still access it. See right there? So that way, better than trying to get it like this, you can unlock the key with it turned, and or you could get a different key, I don't care. Pick a thing, but whatever lets you do this. Then you stick the needle down in there and then pull the ignition switch out. Remember this piece goes here, so it's just two little slides. It slides into this. So a plug slides into the plug and slides into the housing. Just make sure it latches. And uh, then we're gonna go put it back in the car. If I seem slightly more annoyed, it's because I just did this whole thing and forgot to film it. We have it installed. We plugged in this thing here, which runs around the top, which is the sensor for the key. And then we, of course, plugged in this little connector up here that was the pain. It's just the reverse of what you did. Yay, good job, thanks for watching. I, it's a great time. Keys just starts, turns off. We've been over this several times at this point. <laughs> oh. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, Feel free to ask, leave them in the comments, of, of course. You can also watch it live, twitch.tv slash demon machine, at least for the time being, unless YouTube really uh, wants to, to bring this thing over. It's quite a train wreck here, so I recommend not coming. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. It's, it's been quite a bit of fun, and uh, hopefully we can get this, get this uh, put up. <laughs>